How many of you want to make an impact across the world? Raise your hand. I choose not to be a victim. Time is so precious. I've always embraced my autism. I can go on and live my life alone. My life now is without We substance. are more influential than we think we are. Today, I'm going to give you a plan that you can adopt to rescue your self-esteem, self-confidence, and self-image. Throughout the years, I just accept this is what I deserve. This is what's supposed to happen. I made bad choices. I'm not lovable. I have to earn this love and keep earning it, however, however that looks. I, I have a history of domestic violence and really toxic relationships. And I was able to heal myself and do this soul journey that brought me to where I wanted to be the voice that my younger self needed. She really does point out things that you would have never really thought about before. I really enjoy working with Maureen. She's helped me see life through a different lens. What was missing for me was I wasn't my own best friend. I love dogs because dogs are unconditional and they love us without conditions. And that's what I didn't understand, that love came without conditions. From my books, my dog is more enlightened than I am, and my dog is my relationship coach. I used them as the example of how to really stay aligned with who we really are, because man, they're the best. They're the best teachers and professors of how to stay true to who you are. I just want others to learn to love themselves, to take with this nugget of wisdom that says, from here on out, I'm gonna be my own best friend. I'm going to love me, and it's not selfish, and it's not self-absorbed to do that. I have to love me before I can love others. There's gonna be four steps to doing that, and we're gonna use the acronym BONE. So B is for brave. And being brave means doing something out of your comfort zone. Doing something you've never done before. Taking risks. It's hard. It's scary. My dog Callie, she's a Border Collie. She lives for fit playing fetch. And I can throw that ball into a bush and she dives right in. She doesn't think about what's in that bush. There could be a tiger in there ready to eat her and she has no fear. She takes that risk because she's brave. That's what we need to do. Especially when you're building your self-confidence, be brave. Oh, observation. Be aware of your thoughts. Look for people that you admire. Try to emanate those characteristics. And necessary. It's necessary to take care of yourself. A dog doesn't question what they want and what's necessary for them. They're experts in self-care. E is expectation. Stop expecting perfection from yourself, but be expectant that good things will happen to you. Go out into the world and say, I expect good things to happen. And when things don't happen the way I thought they would happen, I'm taking a learning lesson from it and that's still good. When you're building your best friend mindset, you pick the right circle. You cannot love and respect yourself and be your own best friend and be surrounded by a toxic circle. It can't happen. Hear that again. You can't be your own best friend with a toxic circle. Discover who you are, love who you are, accept who you are. Be your own best friend.
the one that your dog already knows that you are.